Welcome back to the Iron Beauty Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth, and today we are gonna be deep diving into the world of low fat and fat free products. While these may seem like a healthier alternative, there's a lot of hidden things in these products that may not be the best for our health. The term low fat and fat free is everywhere on the grocery aisles from your favorite yogurt to the low fat salad dressing. But what does this actually mean? To make up for the loss of flavor that is removed when the fat is taken out, a lot of manufacturers add in either sugar or alternatives to that that we're gonna go over to make up for that lost flavor. But these could actually be going against us, especially in the role of weight management, fat loss, our hormones, and even our gut health. What I'm gonna be covering today is the benefits of healthy fats in the diet, the roles that they have with our metabolism, our gut health, our hormones. I'm also gonna be diving into what these low fat and fat free alternatives, what they replace it with and how it affects our health and I'm even gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite healthy fat sources to include in my diet. I wanna first break down the role that healthy fats has with our metabolism. So we have three macronutrients, our carbs, our fats, and our protein. Carbs and protein are four calories per gram. Fats are nine calories per gram. So when we eat a lot of fat, yes, those calories can add up, but that fat at each meal actually plays a huge role in helping you reach your goals in terms of fat loss. So consuming healthy fats at each meal, they help with the feeling of fullness, the satiety, feeling satiated after that meal. Fats slow down your digestion, so while you may realize if you have a bowl of fruit, 30 minutes later, you're probably hungry with cravings again, versus if you made maybe a smoothie, threw some almond butter in there, protein, you're getting that carb, fat, and protein to slow down digestion, stabilize your blood sugar levels, and keep you feeling fuller longer. This is huge when it comes to weight management and fat loss. Also, by having a healthy fat at each meal, this helps with absorption of our fat-soluble vitamins, our A, D, E, and K, and these are very important for our metabolic processes, which help again with weight loss and controlling your appetite. When it comes to our hormone production, those omega-3 fatty acids found in our flax seeds, chia seeds, our salmon, our fish oil, those play a pivotal role in our hormone regulation. Hormones regulate your fat distribution, your metabolism, and even your appetite which all impact weight loss in your overall health. For example, your estrogen, testosterone, these are all made from our steroid hormones that all need fats for the production. And when it comes to gut health, making sure we are consuming plenty of healthy omega-3 fats in our diet is crucial for our gut microbiome. Also, anti-inflammatory fats are gonna help make the short chain fatty acids in the gut and it's gonna have a lower level of inflammation in that gut lining. As you can see, fats play a crucial role in so many different functions of our body. So if we're looking to just have more energy, better gut health, reach our goals when it comes to losing weight, getting sustainable results, healthy hormones, we wanna make sure we're getting plenty of healthy fats in our diet. So how low is too low when it comes to fat in our diet? So I never like to go under 25 to 30% of calories coming from fats, if you're tracking your macros, in my diet. And personally, I consume almost over 100 grams of fat in my diet coming from whole foods. And I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite fat sources before I go into the hidden ingredients with you as well. So let's break it down the fats that I like to consume in my diet. So first off, nuts and seeds. Love them all. I love macadamia nuts. I also love Brazil nuts, great source of selenium, high antioxidants in the body. Hemp seeds are great for my vegans out there. They are a great source of protein and omega-3s. Flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds. You can do, if you're not sensitive to nuts, you could do like almond butter. I typically stay away from cashews because sometimes there is a mold issue. I'm that sensitive person, so I gear away from them. Other fats, let's break it down into oils. Extra virgin olive oil. I always find one with one, one, you always wanna look at this, on the ingredient list, make sure it's manufactured from one place. 
When there's multiple sources, that means it could be cut with other types of oils. We want to get a pure olive oil. I also use avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, flax oil. I love using hemp oil in my salad dressings for again, more omega-3s. I also cook with tallow, ghee, even coconut oil. And I love topping my meals with avocado, great source of fiber, potassium, tons of micronutrients. So the key when it comes to eating more fats in your diet is just re really looking at the source that you're consuming it from. Sticking more toward a whole food source as much as possible versus going toward a packaged product. Because a lot of the times the packaged product, especially if it says low fat or fat free, has hidden ingredients in there, or they are using more of our safflower oil, our canola oil, or they're frying things in oil that's gonna have more of an inflammatory response on our body. I could literally talk about healthy fats, food nutrition for hours, and I wanna share with you still what to look for when it comes to picking salad dressings and what those hidden ingredients are. But first, I wanna say this. If you've been stuck for so long with me, when I started my fitness journey, I was 180 pounds. I did not know what to choose when it came to my food. I went and tried to find every recipe out there and I just, I felt defeated. I felt overwhelmed. If you've been working so hard, you don't know what diet to do. You're lost with your training. Go below in the description and I want you to fill out that questionnaire. I will be in contact with you within 24 hours to set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit for my 90 day transformation challenge. I have helped over 800 people lose fat, build muscle, restore their gut and hormone health and get sustainable results. This is key. So if you feel stuck, if you need help, you're looking for something to actually get you sustainable results, go below in the description, fill out my questionnaire. Let's set up a call. I'll be in touch with you to see if we're that perfect fit for my 90 day transformation challenge. Now, next time you're in the store and you're looking for a salad dressing or a yogurt, I want you to flip over the package. We're going to look at the ingredients. There's a few things we need to look for. Number one is you want to look at the serving size because I will tell you this, the serving size is not the whole bottle. Half the time, there's like three to four servings in there and that's what we want to know. Number two, if it says low fat or fat free, you want to look at the amount of sugar per serving. A lot of these things, they'll take out the fat and throw a bunch of sugar in there instead. The third thing we want to look at is the ingredients. And a lot of the times the ingredients are actually placed in order of the highest amount that's in that product to the least amount. So some fillers that they may throw in there to replace sugar if it's more of a keto variation are sugar alcohols like erythritol could be thrown in there and you do not know where that's coming from. If it's GMO, what the source is. Next time you're going to the store, look at this low fat products you've been buying. Look at these fat free products, flip it around, look at the amount of sugar, look at the additional ingredients. If you don't know where to start, I actually created a whole guide for you called 150 food swaps. And I have a special discount for you guys in the description below today. And what it is, is I created a whole ebook that has over 150 food swaps. There's no bad fats in there. It's there's keto options, carnivore options, vegetarian, vegan, no added sugars, no sugar alcohols. It is so clean and it's all of my top products broken down into salad dressing, dips, breads, sauces, vegetarian protein sources, vegan protein sources, sweet treats, and I have it to hit everything for you. So if you feel a little stuck, a little overwhelmed, and this is a lot to take in, definitely check out my Healthy Food Swaps book. I got a special code for you guys today and I did all the guesswork for you. So. Remember, when it comes to fat loss, it's not about taking out fats or taking out carbs. It's about getting a balance of everything to feel your best self. Fats are so important because we need them for our hormones, our gut, 
even our metabolism. And I really wanted to put that out there today just because I know so many clients come to me on these low fat diets or low carb diets. And I wanna share with you that it's not being afraid of fat that we should fear. It's about really just focusing on eating foods to nourish our body and feel our best self. So if you need help, go below in the description, fill out the questionnaire. I will reach out to you so we can set up a call to join my 90 day transformation challenge. If you're looking for some healthy food swaps, check out my healthy food swaps guide. I have it all broken down and made simple for you to take the guesswork out. I hope you enjoyed this podcast today. If it helped you in any way, please share it with a friend. Leave a little star review on Apple or Spotify. And if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. I got a new video and episode coming at you every other day. Lots of love. Iron Beauty is out.